Hello everybody. In this video, I fixed the front suspension, the steering, stuck the engine back in it, uh, buffed this side of the car a little bit, patched the floor, uh, did all kinds of stuff. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think in the comments. Here we go. Look at how this one is. That one is. So, this one's not back as far, but they're both back some. I'm gonna measure all this off of Dad's car because I know it's right. You can tell, or I hope you can tell. Over here, it's bent a little bit, but over here, it's bent a lot, so. I had mentioned in the last video cutting all that out. The car I was going to try to cut it out of is rusted out down here. That's not going to happen, which means I'm going to have to cut down the sides and across the bottom on those on that ear that sticks out. I can bring that back forward, this side a little bit, and that side more. I'm going to Cut that, bring it forward, check everything, scab it and weld it and do everything I gotta do. No, that's not the right way to fix that. The right way to fix that would be to replace all the bent metal. But this is a 31 year old Geo Metro and nobody makes that stuff. I don't know if you can see it. Racks bent. I knew it had that bend in it, but the whole rack's bent, including the rod inside of it. And we've got quite a bit of slop in the uh, pinion. That means for sure, though, that I have to replace this. I've got to get up there and take the one off the other car. First of all, I wanted to start out by saying I still feel safe driving this, fixing this the way that I fixed it. I'm sure highly trained professionals would find a problem with this, but I don't. The best I could tell, measuring with the stuff I had to measure with and everything, this side I spaced out just a thickness of metal, which it wasn't off much. You, you can see how far off it actually was, and it's it's not much. Over here, though, I cut that off and moved it forward. This is this is how fine of a measurement we used here. That much. <laughs> and welded it back. Uh, but it's welded. That's that that's not going in it, that's not going anywhere. You don't need worry about that, okay? This isn't going to be what wrecks this car again. Uh, this idiot, me, will be what causes this car to wreck again if it does. Not not this. Not not the steering, okay? We're okay. 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 Now, I've done worse. <laughs> Look at the frame on my Chevelle, for instance. That side, I wanted to leave at least one side alone and not weld it. I just, you know, attacked to it, but that's still as structural as it ever was. That, it's there. So, we're going to, I'm going to put that on, and I'll show you what it looks like. That ain't going anywhere. I really can't think of anybody, it body shop, any, anybody I've ever seen work on anything that would do what I did in this situation. I had a grinder and a welder, and that's as good as I can get this. So whatever it is, if it's off a little or not or whatever, it is what it is. Put the inner and outer tie rod ends that were on this rack on that rack uh, 
that's a new tie rod end, uh, you know, car's alignment, sort of hell. Uh, I would almost, I mean, normally we do our own alignments, and we probably will on this one, but it's almost worth paying uh, a shop in town just to hear what he says, because he's fluent in cussing, and I'm sure that he would have an opinion on this one. Why is this important anyway? Okay, uh, you know, a few events probably know, but a few events might not. Uh, steering acronyms and stuff like that, angles and stuff. Every Everything kind of has to follow itself. The ball joints have to be on the same arc as the, the steering. So it's important that that's right. Um... Uh, if it's not right, you get weird uh, toe gain and all kinds of stuff. You get weird steering stuff. You can kind of get it to where at ride height, going straight, is okay. But if something's far enough off, that's the only time it's okay. Because you can go into a turn, hit a bump or something, and it's going to be chasing itself all the time. It needs to be right the engine is stuck back in the car it has one mount holding it a transmission jack and in case that decides to leak down overnight a screw jack i still have to make the rear one work what i had to do to get the engine in here uh, the frame rail was over I knew it was but if you pushed it out here it bent beyond that control arm and it didn't need to the control arm still where it needs to be so I didn't want that to go further out because of me pushing on this so I cut it went some cut it went some welded all that back up here that also got the mount to where it lined up up here uh, this was collapsed into itself this is not supposed to be an expansion joint so I cut it in two places and pushed this back out and I can peck around on this a little bit. This section of it is straight. The very front edge is still back a little bit, but we'll just uh, space that out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And the next Metro video that I make will be a little bit before I release it. But there, if you get to the end of this, uh, there's two videos coming up at the end of this month that I made a month ago. Uh, I'm taking a little break from releasing videos for a while. I'm still going to make them and eventually I'll release them. But for now, I'm taking a little break until, say, uh, middle March or late March. So uh, I'll see you when I come back. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye. Yeah, the only Oh, would you there. look at that? Put that Just on. look at that. I can't pull it out. I got up here this morning, took the driver's side quarter glass out the regulator the tracks everything the window was kind of already half fell fell out because i guess that roller was missing or broke in the wreck because, i mean it was hit pretty hard so it would be possible for the glass to kind of just you know move that's kind of what I believe happened because 
you see that piece of rubber right here now that's only there because the window was up against it all the rest of it is missing and it was cocked I got all that out I don't know if I'm gonna try to find some rollers or just uh, put it together carefully guiding it and once I get it up against the trim just kind of uh, take the window crank off of it and wire the window up because I don't real I don't really have to have quarter glasses that will roll up and down but I do need to have them in it so while I was in there and up here I didn't know that the entire wheel well trim was here I knew that part of it was but this part was hidden and you can kind of tell because it's green and that's not so I got down here and I was looking and it was all there but instead of the part that drops off down through there being where you would think it would be because this car was hit so hard it crunched that up too and somehow or another did did a 180 but why does that trim matter i wouldn't run that on my car i'm going to run it on mine you can go ahead and buy new stuff for years that's fine you know a bird in the hand is worth two in that bush and that how that goes yeah so i want to put that stuff up and then i want to bend that back and then we'll see how it kind of fits up against its wheel wheel i'll have to do some uh final tweaking and bending and stuff but i got it to where it fits up against it good i just have to screw it on see it's 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 all bent uh back here though is where it's, it was it's worse and you can kind of see that i twisted and beat all that back out that one was the same way. That came off the uh, red car. So did the rocker molding. And I have one for the front one. Here is the driver's side front one. The one I just straightened. And that one is the mate to the passenger side rear one. So now I have all the wheel well trim. This driver's side front one came off that minty uh, 67 Super Sport fender. Hopefully soon I'll be, well, not no hopefully to it soon i will be getting all the rest of that put on it oh i never did show you that pretty good you know until you get back here now uh that isn't helpful helpful is it's not helpable i mean i would have loved it to have been pretty and and nice and nice and toy uh that's not gonna happen so it's just you know pretty and then ew. it's almost like the headliner bows hit a tree it didn't really matter how you bent them or how you put them in they don't fit 